understand. Pinworm, seat worm, thread worm, itchy butt worm, Introbius vermicularis or oxyurius are all names of one intestinal worm that infects school children at a certain age between 5 and 15 and it can cause a lot of trouble for them. The children who go to school get infected and then go back home and get infect the other family members and then go back to school again and infect other children. Uh, so there's the vicious circle of infection happening around the house and the school. And maybe even the parents would infect their colleagues at work or friends and so on. So dealing with that worm will have to involve mass treatment of the house and the school at the same time. That worm lives in the intestines of the infected person and Actually, we get infected with the egg of the worm by eating contaminated food or touching contaminated surfaces and then putting our hands in our mouth. Now, what happens next is that the worm comes out of the egg inside the intestines in the form of larva. Larva are very small worms and then they hang on the inside wall of the intestines and then grow up to be total uh, fully grown worms. In this case, they can immigrate to the outside of the anus around the anal area. So from the rectum and the anus area, you will find the adult worms laying eggs at night and that causes the symptoms the child will probably have nightmares about snakes crawling on him or her. And that's a sign that this could be an infection with a pinworm. So the problem is that the child will wake up at night crying and itching around the anal area. And what you will see, maybe, if you check the anus at night, you might find these little worms around the anus. Sometimes you won't see them. Some parents would take a torch and check around the anal area like this. Some other parents would take a tape and go around the anal area and stick it around the anal area like this and we'll see the little worms on the tape. So in fact, these worms come out and affect or have eggs laid around the anus and also might have uh, an effect on the uh, vaginal area of girls. So sometimes you'll have vaginal discharge or um, inflammation around the vagina of the girl and then you are worried that there might have been like any form of sexual um, assault on her. Well, please make sure first that it's not this pinworm. On the underwear of the children, on the towels, on the bed sheets, and especially on the toilet seats, and on everything they touch with their little hands, especially their toys, all these toys can be affected with the uh, eggs of the worm. The biggest cause of the spread of the infection is actually having long nails. So the child has to have always very short nails and also other members of the family, the mother especially. So you have to be careful that this should be a ritual, that you're always cutting, clipping your child's nails. Now we have the problem of itching at night that might cause nightmares and it might cause insomnia. And then the child would go to school not having had enough sleep and this could affect her his educational process. So you will have to make sure that your child is having a good night's sleep. How can you do that? As soon as your child cries and complains of the itching, there is an idea to use zinc oxide cream or Nivea cream, any thick cream. Take a little bit of it 
and put it around the anal area and inside, a little bit inside the anus or around the infected area or inflamed area. Just put the cream around this area like this. In this case, the worm will get uh, kind of trapped into the cream and will not cause this irritation of the skin anymore. So that's a good way to make your child sleep peacefully. Sometimes children will suffer from bed wetting because of that. So don't get angry at them. Make sure that they don't have that infection. And now let's see what we should do around the house to prevent the infection from happening and rehappening. First of all, to prevent auto-infection means, auto-infection means to infect yourself. So the child would scratch around the anus and then go eat something. The eggs are inside the nails, huh? We'll go eat something and then the eggs come inside again and have new worms, huh? So what you need is uh, to cut the circle. So you will have to cut the nails always. You'll have to every day spray the toilet seat with disinfectant spray. And if there's a special spray to spray the toys of the child and change their underwear every day and wash them on very high temperature. Also towels and bed sheets. Be very careful that they are uh, clean and washed regularly. Don't forget that one of the most important measures to prevent getting infected with this worm is washing hands before eating and after using the toilet. Teach your child to always do this. Never forget to wash your hands after the toilet and before eating. It's very important also to inform the school and ask them to contribute to a sanitation program also around the school. So maybe send out messages to other parents to do the same program at home. Also the toilet seats and the toys at school should be sprayed with disinfectant spray regularly. At the doctor's office you will take medication that can treat the worms from inside the uh, intestines, but also you need to repeat it uh, two weeks later. But remember that the worms outside are not affected by the medication. So washing every day very well the anal area is very important. Remember that this is not such a harmful worm in the sense of it doesn't affect your child's health and doesn't um, cause any disease from inside, but it disturbs his sleeping pattern and that's the main problem. So we need the child to get enough sleep so that the educational process and his development would not be affected. I wish you the best of health. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.